Everybody, this is Piano 1011 bringing you how to get custom tracks for version 4.3. Anyway, so then what you want to do is go to Wii Options, click on Wii Settings, and check your version number. Make sure it's 4.3 and a letter after it. Mine is U, and actually, the letter is actually pretty important. Click on Internet, Console Information, your Mac address, that's what you need for the, to launch it, well, whatever. Anyways, what you want to do is go to the webpage I provide in the description. Scroll down to where it says, issue via version 4.3 and no HPC. If you have homebrew channel, just download the CTGP Revolution 1.02.003. Anyways, open letter bomb and then make sure to do your system, correct system menu version. And you type in your MAC address. Um, it's necessary to create and send the correct file. Oh, and by the way, um, if you want the homebrew channel, check the bundle the hack me installer for me thing. If you don't want it, don't check it off. But, okay, anyway, so then type in the the words over there, and then click cut the blue wire. I'm not sure what happens if you click cut the red wire. If you're bored, you can do that. Anyways, extract everything to your SD card. Click OK, and extract. Uh, inside, yeah, in case you're wondering, there's a bunch of subfolders inside there, but I'm not going to go into that. Anyways, um, click on CTGP Revolution 1.02.003 and click download and log in if you, ha if you didn't already. Uh, and making an account is pretty easy and I'm censoring my email so you guys can't email me or anything. Download and click free download unless you have a priority account or whatever. But I'm not going to download it because it takes a long time for me to download it. Anyway, so what you want to do is extract all the files into your SD card. And extracting everything might take a little long since the file is pretty big. But anyways, your SD card should look something like this when you're finished. If you want to put like textures and music hacks or stuff, you, you can put it in the My Stuff folder which is in the Mario Kart Wii folder and you'll find it anyways. But make sure you have to you name it correctly, otherwise it won't sh work when you put it in. Anyways, once once that's done, you could just eject your SD card and put take it out put it in, and put it in your Wii. Anyways, that's the hard part finished. And yeah, just press A. And then what you want to do is go on to your Wii message board. Um, sorry, I was doing something. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot what I did. Sorry. Sorry if you guys are getting a little bored right now. <laughs> okay. So, for the third time, what you need to go is go onto your Wii message board and back up to two days until you find Letter Bomb. When this happens, and like that. That should happen. If you if you um but if you click the button on the hack me and install it for me, go to the option whether or not you want to install the homebrew channel, install it and you should be taking back the Wii menu, and then you just launch it by homebrew channel. Anyways, otherwise you have to keep using it doing the letter bomb thing. You should put your stuff at this unless you want special unless you want some special fonts. But then if you the thing is if you do special fonts, some stuff won't work like. For some multiplayer options won't work with special font because the game just freezes that way. Launch. Just wait. And then if you did everything correctly, this screen should pop up. And I hope you all enjoyed and enjoy playing custom tracks. Thank you for watching. Like, um, favorite, subscribe, and peace out.